First thing first, let's talk about where your LumaFusion assets go. Originally, all assets go into an internal folder that is created when installing the app. If you delete the app on the device, you will also delete this internal folder and all of the files and assets will be deleted, so please be aware. If you want to avoid this from happening, then you can create your own external folder for all of the LumaFusion assets, such as project backups, projects, imported media, and much more. I'll show you how you can do this. First step is to navigate to the Help and Settings panel. Then, tap on the Preference tab. After that, you'll want to tap on the Select External Folder for LumaFusion Storage. From here, you can choose an existing folder, or you can create a new folder. I will create a new folder for this case. If you like to see this folder, you can, through the My Files app. Here, let me show you. Over time, if you uninstall the app and reinstall the app, you will be able to reselect the existing external folder. When you do that, you'll see the option to restore your assets, or if you want to, you can clear the contents of the folder. Did you know that you can also customize your library sources in the import media panel? Well. Let's take a look together. You will want to tap on the three dots in the Import Media Library. Then tap on the Import Media button. Next, tap on the Add Edit Sources. Finally, you can make adjustments to what you want. All you have to do is drag and drop the locations to either In Use or available sources with the handles that are indicated with the three lines. The in use column will show all the sources that can be accessed in the import media panel the moment it is opened. The available sources are sources that can be added to the in use column whenever you are ready to use them. Now that we have added a few sources into the in use column, let's download some clips. There you have it. Now you know how to create an external folder with all of your LumaFusion assets. You also know how to add sources to the import library. Please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer support with any questions. Happy editing!